that's popping, boys. You should can get a couple things shut up here right quick. I Hold up, we almost there. Now we're real streaming gamers, yeah. All right, let me just check a couple things and we'll get started. I bet. Get fucked, please let me know. <laughs> Alright. What's poppin', boys? So we're gonna get started here. Uh I haven't opened the game yet. I haven't tried doing anything yet. I literally went to three different game stops to try to find this fucking game. I can get the other settings here real quick. That's a lot of things I'm not going to read. Now we go for performance. Yeah, I never learned how to read. Fuck that shit. Uh, link your Harry Potter fan club and WB games. I don't I ain't reading that shit. So let's get the side in. economy that we're in because I can't afford the gas to make that trip. As you may be aware, the decree for reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the you. I ain't reading that shit. Alright, now we're popping. Uh, let's see, we gotta create an accurate reflection, uh, a spinning image of Weezer. Alright, where'd you go with the fucking default? Uh, Alright, well, first of all, I need some glasses. Uh, am I not able to edit my facial structure? Because I need to make them cheeks fucking massive. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go straight to hairstyles right quick. But, nah, that's way too frizzy for me. See, I keep my hair well kicked. Uh, uh, that one might work. That's a fucking tight fade, though. I don't know if I can keep it that tight. And that one might work. If I can find one just with a little bit more texture, that would be perfect. Uh, well, this might be the best I can get. Wait a minute! Ah, that's a little bit. Uh, which one do you guys think? This one or, uh, fuck this one? Hey, let me change it to red so we can get an accurate, uh, reflection. Where the fuck is Ginger? Hold up. Is that 
the best I could get. I, how the fuck decided to put a fucking cursor on a console game? Okay, so I could have fucking purple hair, but not solid fucking red. I knew this game was racist. Alright, well, it looks like this is the best I'm gonna be able to get for red hair. I can't believe this. $70 and I can't be represented properly. Ginger or redhead representation. That's fucking ridiculous. In the year of our Lord 2023, I can't get some fucking red hair. Alright, well, I'm going with that other one because that was the closest I feel like I could get. Uh, I, I'm just not happy with either of them. I guess it's gonna have to do. Watch poppin' boys. Jimmy's fucking around in his clubhouse. That's where he's at. Hey, let's see complexion. Turn that shit all the way up to white. What shit? Oh wait, what the fuck is this? I guess that will work. Freckles. Hold up. Alright, that, that'll do. Alright, got no scars. Okay, eyebrows. I need the bitches to be bushy as hell. Okay, that'll, that'll work, I guess. Uh, eye color. Shit, let me look at the colors or more. in the show that I don't have uh, 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 an iris. It's just black dots. I'm gonna assume brown's the proper eye color. I guess that'll do for eyebrow color. Alright. Well, I'm already slightly let down by the character customizer. Okay, that one's that one's kind of kind of good, but I think it's kind of dummy stupid. I can't customize my face outside of some presets. How am I supposed to get them dummy thick cheeks? Okay, I guess this one's probably the best I'm gonna get. I'm just still not happy with the hair color. This shit's ridiculous. You know what? This is gonna be the best I can get. Wait, did I choose my gender? I guess not. Uh, voice. Back to voice over. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Don't sound like me at all! It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. That was quite something. Right. Yeah, I should have done a customer characterization before now. This is the one with the chubbiest cheeks, so this is the one we're gonna go with. Uh, bitch. Let's uh, see. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. But now I just sound like a fucking cyborg. It was wonderful. I believe a few cobwebs and some dust. Nothing to be concerned about. That was quite something. And I 
I'm kind of digging the cyborg sound effect. Like, I feel like that'd be pretty funny. But I suppose I I am indeed this. a student, but I could very well be able to help you. All right, that. I think everything looks pretty good there. Carol. Wizard. Yeah, wizard. All right. We drop it in, boys. See you until the towers. It appears we are almost ready to depart. Hope you're paid for gas. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. That I played with. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Motherfucker just appeared oh. through the shadow room. <laughs> Eliazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Is this your Ages Tesla? since I've been to the castle. The Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Traveling companion. A new student. It's me, you. it's me, it's that W-H-E-E-Z. Yes, sir. -E 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 I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the oh faculty God, has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor oh, have I. Oh, okay. Thanks of for course, the as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well... You couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl. 
but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard. How did you wait? We do. Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Is this that good snow? That good goosh? It looks like that stuff Jimmy made in his lab last week. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. Damn, I'm jealous! Fuck! What the hell? But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. I think we're on the bad side of Retroville. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you think... The port key was meant to lead us there. I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Hey, what? Go right off the bat. This game's Mind your bad. step. Where do you suppose your wife I got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Look as bad as it did in the ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. The 
But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that <laughs> wand work you were practicing. Oh, no. oh, yeah. Focus on the center. Selected active targets. Some players prefer to select targets and move the avatar with the same thumbstick. By design, oh, whatever, I don't give a fuck. Let me turn the game volume down a little bit since the game volume is kind of loud. Y'all let me know if that's bad. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. But so far, this game is kind of dialogue heavy. Ah, up there. Ugh. Kind of late for it to pick up. There ain't much happening yet. We're close now, it's just ahead. yourself repair damn Daniel he bought that fucking mod pack almost there Where did I get a chip combat though? Cause I not gonna lie. Ain't much happening right now. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That Fetch your king definitely on the reason. snow. Let's have a look like, around. Like I mean look at his damn nose. That shit's red as hell. Place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a. This man's judging me inappropriately. Interesting. Hey, well, what the fuck you want me to do, game? Hey, well, that ain't it. Ah, I see. I'm just fucking stupid. I'm hoping that it allows me an enchantment to increase the size of my croissant. That enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's well, okay, this? I was wrong in doing that. Professor Fig! Daddy found a portal to another dimension! Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. My man, you might have dropped your what glass. in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Oh, I want to make 
son and can't me be caught? <clears throat> That's a good question. I have to look at the lore index. <clears throat> <clears throat> Look at this goofy ass here, having motherfucker. It can't be. Uh, just a moment. <laughs> Ooh. <clears throat> uh, no <we're> anything here. <clears throat> this man's probably having a good <clears throat> jerk off behind the counter. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Stay close. Fucking lie, boys. I'm kind of fucking lost as hell right now. After you. So, we got a key. It's magical. Uh, keep your hands inside the car if tank. you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> yeah, I had a fee ratio. It's kind of fucking goofy. I'd be interested in seeing it. How many votes are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great this wealth. This reminds me of that one time I went to Could have arranged for such a service. And they told me that the world would go to and go upside down. You want that to take a break? That shit ended up going oh, upside down. Praise up to that waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. I've got it was lost. Out in the Why deepest we going part the of the bank. Is this like a big Settle in. We have quite a distance to go. Goofy-ass little top hat, man! Vault number... Vault 12. Momentous day! <laughs> hmm. uh, I do life. like french fries. That counts as a french bakery. French toast. French women. Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Yeah, okay. Really, so there I'm oh. special because I could see the glowing little sign on the, on the porky. So basically, I have the mark of the beast. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. Look at that, there, John! No one has visited Vault 12. Lanky, head-ass-looking, goofy motherfucker. Alright, I hope they have some V-Bucks in this vault. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. Contact with Epic Games to get them to add a Weezer skin to Fortnite. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, 
I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Sorry, Tommy. I'm going to turn off notifications. Hold on. Short pause. Uh, fuck. How do I get the notifications here? System. Devices. Display options. Okay. Wait. Yeah, hold up. Can I just kind of... There we go. Yeah, my bad, G. Uh, what season am I in Fortnite? Professor, uh, that was certainly unexpected. Shit, yeah, what season Let are we even on? I've there played Fortnite since like 2019. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. I steady your wand with it and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding and pull the project to accelerate your wand's motion. Uh, God, I'm so fucking good at this game! Okay, cast Rabio! Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. All right. Chef Boyardee Ravio! A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... Ravio! I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. I'm trying to dis discover the secret to Jimmy's mom's heart. I don't know why we're doing this fucking side mission. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Not gonna lie, I've never heard the sound desaturating in my life. Or, uh, disappear. I don't know what he even just said. Rabio! Rebellion. I see something up ahead. What is it? It's that, that glizzy glitz. But on the floor. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? I got sucked into the yes, shadow. Yes, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Okay. Well, what the fuck you want me to do about it? Rebellion! Rebellion. I presume oh, that you saw work. reflected in the floor. It is. I was a the reflection's kitchen. still there, I didn't expect but the statue's work. positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Which is automatically been slotted to your spell set. You most creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see in dark areas. Kinda reminds me of the light at the tip of my croissant. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Arise, goofy ass bitch! Ah, 
quick time of it! Okay, it looks like I can't kill it. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Well, shit, I don't know! Why don't you go to where those freaking little lights are going? The wisps of magic Dumbass. seem to be leading me somewhere. I forgot. Lumos. Fucking Lumos my way through this. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Alright, uh, let me see if I can remember how to do this puzzle. Alright, Ravioli. I suppose I'm on my own this time. And then... Lumos. Lumos. Arise, my cousin. Alright, that one's good to go. Alright. Yeah, I got this one. So we should be activated. I need to align these statues with their reflections. Well, I did. How the fuck am I supposed to do that if it's gonna change? Oh, this is one of those puzzles. Okay. So how do I align them all? Not together. Oh, I see. My weezer senses are tingling. I seem to have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Protego, stupefy. Yeah, it gets scary, motherfucker. I hold my during Protego. Stun enemies with a stupefy counterattack. Uh, stupefy is just a disturbed sound, so that's a copyright infringement. Stunned enemies take extra damage, indicated by gold numbers. Okay, well, when does Protego happen? I guess I figured that out. Yeah, my goal is to overwhelm them with a constant weed. Fuck! I hope this other controller battery's charged. Uh, negative, positive. Is this the right way to put this battery? We got life! Ravio! Alright, 
reveal your objective to reveal the thing. Oh, hold on. I'm supposed to do the Protego attack. That's right. Yeah, well, my stack of batteries typically comes from Jimmy's lab. I sneak in there at 2 a.m. and I steal whatever he's working on. Recently, I found a drug that makes me start seeing fucking demons at night. So, I guess the consequences of my own action is uh, amongst me. So I just gotta look through the window. Recently she found out I was watching her shower, so unfortunately she started closing the blinds there too. Okay, what if I and there we go. I'm getting pretty good at casting these spells. Revelio. Floating above that basin. Dutton, I don't that know what you're having basin. a mental breakdown about. That is a pensive. How do I get a memories. cry? Let's keep on the facade of the chat. That's all I see. That may be carrying that pocket whiskey. Follow my lead. Too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the ritual wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. How have I proven anything? Can. All I've done is create a character and done some radio and skills. 
Thanks for the sub jump. Oh, we drank that That's fucking... what you're seeing. Good. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were... It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Yeah, no shit, what gave that away? I don't the know. The subtitles? But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Yeah, he got a Grand deep voice luck. for such a little man. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are well, you Well, so here? far, Wizard's Magic has only no shown about that. two spells Just for us. Neutron Science allows us to enter different dimensions. I'm going to go with Neutron Science. Which is why I'm going to be uh, able sir, to flow through this game in a record speed. They have the key mode. to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. But I was to grant some kind access of only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. I give you my facade in your mouth. Can do. Fuck you, little man. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. We're on the west side of Retroville. Come. We gotta get out of here. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. So when am I gonna start to get banged into the... Let me repeat When do I start to get... But I can't speak with the fucking music so loud! As I was saying, when do I get to start banging the wizard models? That's good for my reading pace. Yeah. 
I'm waiting to buy the good salsa. Just wait until I become the most popular kid at school. I'm going to be hitting the gritty on my bullies. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the ministry. Yeah, they I may hit it on the teachers. I hope it's hardcore. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's In happened this evening for between mom, you and me. I shall me. slay course, as much sir. pussy as Thank humanly you. possible. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I'm pretty sure this is Alcatraz. You got a good point. God, the sexual tension in that stare was palpable. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare I'll yourself be able to, to meet snip out the headmaster. Those are really Jimmy's mom. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Waiting on the mod community to pull through. It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. I didn't even see the talking hat. If you're lucky, if it's we got a might hole, still be able to get you sorted out this it. evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. All right. I'm ready to slay some monster pussy. What are you looking at, nerd? Professor Weasley. Weasley? Wait, that's a sword. fucking copyright strike. Weasley? Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Gives a whole new meaning to giving head. Ah, yeah. A bit older than the others, aren't you? Sound like a fucking pedophile. You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hey, okay, fucking Dr. Seuss head ass. Uh, I can't wait to explore the crevices of all the teachers at Hogwarts. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors Bro, have a great that deal move. to teach you as well. What do you think that mouth do? Look mm. at that. I wonder. Mm. Look at his lips. I detect something in you. Make your smash A certain sense of... Mm. What is it? It's called libido. Uh. I'm only loyal to Jimmy's mom, but I'm willing to slay some pussy in my time here, so. Uh, not super curious. I'd rather take a passive approach, but you could call my extreme desire for Gucci ambitious. Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. And the yeah, something's growing power. right now. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Uh, the sorting hat will take your choices into account when sorting you into your house. Slytherin house, known for cunning ambition and a hunger for... Well, that's not the P word I would have used, but I'll take it. You belong in Slytherin! So when do I get the suck? Do 
I get oh, to give a speech to these fucking pitch. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. Yeah. I'm right. sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Yeah, I got plenty I to said, do. I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall yeah, say to you can sir. show me to your room, Miss Weasley. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Look at them hips, boy! Dibs childbearing hips! It's quite uncommon for a student to begin and as a fifth David, year. It may uh, be a bit of a challenge. Dim other one, kids sure are underage! <laughs> they can be quite <laughs> resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin Common. The teachers are already In order to enter, one really must simply yeah. speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Damn! Look at that croissant. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Hey, you can collect Thank me you, later Weasley. tonight. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Damn, look at them graphics. Uh, David, you're acting mad sus. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. I'm just gonna establish that in the Carl Weezer lore, me and that teacher definitely smashed last night. So this is established going forward. Hey, there's multiple beds in here. I bet. I want to find where Harry Potter's at so I can start bullying him. I suppose some introductions are in order. Introduce me with you. All right. That's not helpful. Who are you? Bastion Swallow? Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Hey, Thank you. Mr. Not Swallow. everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Ah. Uh, well, I was slightly turned on by the dragon. It had that mommy energy. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. I would rate my wrist. You just get yourself settled. We can talk Are we talking on a scale of 1 to 10 or more of a 6 to 20 scale? Where's the option to... Bully this kid. I bet I could bully him regarding what he was reading. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. How about you learn some spells to get some bitches on your dick, goofy ass? It was nice meeting you, Sebastian. I'll let you get back to your book. Nice meeting you too. <laughs> Good luck today. High scale from David to 
I gotta say I'm a 27, and that is the size of my croissant and pinches. I'm gonna be like Donkey and Shrek and fuck the dragon. want to think that again. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Are you playing chess? Checkmate. Well, how about you want me, want me on rust? What are you looking you at? should have listened Goofy to me. Ass. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. Yeah, well, my skills with Jimmy Mom are unspeakable, so don't even try to fucking flex on me, bitch. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Okay then, why the fuck are you talking to me in like five sentences per dialogue tree? Uh, yeah, let me roast her about her chess skills. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Well, if you'd want me, want me on Rust, you'd see what real skill looks like. Spoiler, she sells drugs. That ain't surprising. Look at her eyes. They're all red and swollen. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. Look at this emo kid in the corner. Look at how his head's tilted. He's definitely going to be the angsty one. I, I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. How about you suck on ominous dick, bitch? Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. So this guy has a fetish for mermaids, is that so? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard That's of a mermaid showing up outside like our common room broken window. In the past. He it is fun to play along. He can't just stand straight They're up. They're known to keep some first years. And he's not even looking hours. at me in the eyes. Like what? Look at this goofy. Are you expecting ass? to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. Oh, my family on my like, father's oh, side are direct descendants English? of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm, I'm especially over proud here. of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Yeah, maybe I can hit him up with some of that neutron science to make him see again. Or maybe I'll just hook him up with Mr. Beast. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. How would you... Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. <laughs> All right, time to go slay some pussy. I'll be slithering into her bed tonight. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I got I've been five of boxes for a long time. of condoms on standby. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, 
You'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. I hope they designed me a, like a new Here you are. See, when I started playing Cyberpunk years ago, I was disappointed that I couldn't make myself have a cybernetic buckle. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. I thought this was the Kwan. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? The NSA has a bug Perhaps in it. seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Yeah, I'll put you to the test this in way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Alright, let me adjust the audio. Sorry, it's kind of fucked. Alright, uh, yeah, let me know if that's any better. I can't turn voice up any higher, but I can turn, uh, turn game volume down. The guide down. will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Do keep up. I can't go any faster. The game's Why inhibited by movement speed. Revelio on that statue and see what details the field guide can provide. Ravio! Okay, well, the only details that it provided is that this shit's yellow. Uh, collect the guide page. Ah! Statue depicts the Kelpie, a safe ship to water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported is the Loch Ness Monster in Scotland. You just unlocked a field guide. Okay, yes, yeah, sure, whatever. This is your wizarding level. I have to be for challenges to increase your level and power. Field guide tracks your current challenge prog- Okay, fucking hell. I get it. New challenges you unlock for your adventure will appear here. Okay. Oh my god, how many menus? Force must be claimed from the challenge menu. I bet. Let me, let me open the chest. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside of the castle. Why is it an opportunity right in front of me with them child-bearing hips of yours? I've never heard of Hatsune Miko. Is that a type of, uh... Dish. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Hi. Uh, blue flame fast travel. Nope. Okay, well that's just a complicated way to just say that's fast travel point. Okay, select the grand staircase to continue. Ooh. 
Why I selected it. The fact you want me to do. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm just stupid. Thanks for the donation, G. Stream Fortnite. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that in the future. We might do that next Sunday. Streaming Fortnite with the boys. That'd be pretty sick. Next view, you can see flu flames available in that region. Green flu flames represent... Okay, whatever. <laughs> the right side of the map between Friday Active and Quartz Pitch, including the Autonomy Tower, Liberty, and Greenhouses. I'm sick of reading this shit! Okay, use R to rotate and fast travel to the map. Yeah, I'll have to download Fortnite tonight and try to play it a little bit this week so I don't and suck ass. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Uh, okay. Which Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Uh, defense, uh, I don't give a fuck about this shit. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. And I Happily, have much to your teach professors you. Have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. Well, in order for you to obtain that knowledge, you have to buy the DLC. So, give fuck. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost. Jimmy, Bob, how dare you face. show your face in my chest of the after you left Professor me for Fink. you? Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah. I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, That's it seems that, that it chose That's the real chitty Bob. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely My on sources have informed me that that is nothing map. but a doppelganger, Jimmy's Thank mom. You. Don't worry, boys. Good luck today. I know how to sniff out a real Jimmy's mom from a mile guide. away. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Exactly. Do you know the real Jimmy's mom's lawyer? That she's never threatened to take away croissants from me. Ah. 
Thanks. I gotta talk to Professor Fig. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding our late arrival? Yes, sir, you did. A bitches and hoes are like new clothes. Once you bought them, you wish you never got them. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley... You're gonna give me the IGN strategy guide? Why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Hi. You can track available quests from the map. Uh, that button represents main quest. Side quests look like that. I uh, track a quest for that and continue. Okay, I gotta, uh, okay, I'll just do that one, I guess. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I spent seventy dollars to take classes. This is bullshit. Time count is legit. Where you want? Okay. Um. Let me just move this up here real quick. Okay, there we go. Now we can see all my stats and shit. All right, where can I go to start bullying some kids? Ravio. No, that didn't do shit. Fuck you, four eyes. Well, so far I'm disappointed in the bullying mechanics. Ten defense against the dark art class. Oh, it's that swallow kid. He's about to kill that boy. Professor Hackett. Perhaps Why does he get red hair and I can't? In your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. I heard shit. What's poppin', Bobby? I how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. Damn! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity. 
especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. If you need something small, you can just take a look at my salt. Yeah, I'm so fucking good at this game. I bet she is aware of the Blackwater Massacre. And that's that good cush right there. Now, let's try something a little larger. You need something a little larger. You can just pull my pants down. Got them. Let us begin with a basic cast. I bet. Basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Okay. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent, as Master Proof so artfully helped me demonstrate earlier. How the fuck do I do a Levioso? I gave you. Now, the basic cast. Goofy ass! Done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. I'm you better begin. bully this boy. Alright, let me yourself, bitch! That goofy ass! He ain't that sick of these stubbots! Yeah, that's right. Dumbass fell off the damn table! Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. Yeah, and you swallow, you dumbass little beta male. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Uh, I'll be Slytherin in your practice. pants tonight. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. Yeah, I ain't taking no ideas from someone with a name like Swallow. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. All right, I'm about to bully nice you work. into deleting your Instagram, boy. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so I identify warm. as a Ligma male. Perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've had my share of wand combat, also known as sword fighting. Also I've used that. As... Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds sus. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? 
We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Well, you just sound Look like you want to near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Yeah, not Until really. Now time. take your goofy ass back to the locker room, boy. What are you up to now? So I gotta collect some awards from the challenge menu. Wow, this UI's fucking intense. Alright, quest. Complete two main store. Alright, I get some gloves. I bet. And we're that's right, gotta have protection when digging in the coochie. Face wear. I have some new glasses. Nah. I ain't wearing the hat. Neck wear. Yeah, that scarf looks pretty fly. Jerry's Bob, you're nothing but a sus little weasel. And I know you're not the true Jimmy's mom. I can just walk around in my jammies. Ah, this is fucking sick. I hell yeah. <laughs> I got the gloves on too with the scar. Now this is what a true link my mail looks like. You may not like it, but this is what peak masculinity looks like. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Well, who the fuck said that? Alright, well, I guess I'll go to the charms class. I miss having my own bedroom. Get out of the way, boy. Bro, why is my FOBs? Holy shit, those are some fucking ghosts! You make your point! I wonder if they know the way to the staircase. There are all these stairs and they can't afford a fucking elevator. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. That's right! Daddy's walking into the room. What's poppin'? Here. Behind you. There is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Yeah, I'm Nettie too. I Have don't you use the Professor juice. Yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> While well, this cut is playing, I'm making me sad. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? The answer is the square mm -hmm. root of a croissant. Uh, 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 I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. I 
steady your arm without guiding the launch pad. Oh, yeah. I'm glad the cats enjoyed it. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Hey, shut up! Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day of thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with master, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Yeah, look at my fucking swag! <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one uh. of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Right. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. Hi. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall. Yes? Akio, I could keep talking about it. That's it! Kobe. Stay focused! I wait, so. Excellent control there. Okay, some scoring points. I said. Very good. Not to worry. Very good! Points to Slytherin! But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up! You'll be the Blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing Red. Clear? Yes, sir. I said, it's about to turn your turn. Let us see this. As my forefathers once said, it's peanut butter jelly time. Ah, oh, damn it, hold on. Alright, I'm mad at putting this bitch in her place. You are doing quite well. Kobe! Happens to the best of us. Here we go. You say that shit one more time, I'm putting it into your life. That is how it's done. Alright, here we go. Fuck! Oh dear. You suck. You said it's Ray catching in the perfect fucking score every time. Alright, check this shit out. Akio. Kobe! Fuck! Stay focused. That's fucking bullshit. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? The game was rich from the <laughs> I think start. We are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Good 
of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Look at that alpha male posture of mine. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Well, I'm just built different. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. That's crazy, but I don't remember asking. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. You can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on clothing, to be precise. All right, Mr. ramen noodles, you know what you want, boy. Me. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Check out that fucking ass hatch I got on my outfit. Hi. What we got next? I thought I could only do main missions, but I guess. Why well, don't say no missions on here? I should speak with Luke and Bradby about the secret. Uh, I guess I got to go talk to that freaking beta male. Hi. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Don't talk to me until you I'm got a fucking 2.5 KD. Alright, well, how the fuck do I get to. This place confusing as hell. I'm not telling lies. Handy resources. Right, well, I'm gonna fast to track. Track. I'm most pleased to be included. Uh, okay, I guess the next main quest is over there. 
So I'll fast travel over here. Why well, can't fast travel over? Ah, fuck! Well, Was the minister a boot or the guess minister? I'm lost. Let's proper Yoshi throw back to. Uh, uh, why can't I remember things right now? Throw back to Bagman! Hey, let me design this place is dumb as hell. Another fucking stay oh wait. Was this one of those things I can grab you only? Young orphan wizard, dementors and dark wizard, radishes came back in whatever those words mean. Level two Why well, how the f yeah. Okay, never mind. I guess I just should have followed my mini map. Hey, cat! Nice popping, G. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Look at oh, my uh, alpha male posture. Me. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Uh, no, I ain't really done shit. Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Why make I'm me not do sure more I have shit? time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade, I mentioned earlier. I ain't got no we hours in to rush. replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Ah, I don't care about the Lord. Just give I me my wand. To get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Salo or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Why well, Sebastian's a little bitch motherfucker, so he ain't gonna be my homie. Uh, Natty? Well, you know, when it comes to being Natty, uh, I guess I prefer if they're not on the juice, so yeah, I'll go with I'd like Natty. to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. OK, 
Okay, so the quest was just talking to her. Well, I guess I feel a sense of pride and accomplishment. Speak to Professor Ron and assignments are types of quests given by Hogwarts professors. Eh. I guess I can report to Dip. I'll be on stream for about 10 more minutes, boys, and we're gonna call it a day. So I'll do a couple more quests. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. Yeah. Fine, I'll do your errands. Right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. All right, let's see. Collect the flying page to the... There it is, you little... Bitch, ravioli! Ravioli! Ra You're f- Yeah! A flying page must be around here somewhere. Alright, goofy ass! Get your ass Wait. over here, boy! Literally like a 12 feet walk and this guy couldn't do it. I trust the preliminary time. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. I forgot I'm supposed to be doing the direct thing. Ah, shit. God. Show me. All right, new spell unlocked. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It okay. allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. That's beta as fuck. All right, I'm gonna repair this statue, then I'm gonna try to use a spell on Peep's marriage, or Peep's parents' marriage. Repair it. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Uh, easy money. All right, well, looks like I got a bunch of spells now. Revelio. All right, so I'm getting the flow of the game. Let's see what's left to do. All right, map. Let's go do this mission. Professor Weasley's arranged for me to visit. Okay, so this is the one where I'll get my wand. I think. I hope I can get some new drips soon. I want to be able to wear a gold chain. Ice on my wrist. What 
what the fuck? Ravioli! Yeah, just hit me up if your parents need marriage counseling. Hello, looking for me? Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been I, looking forward to it. I just want my wand. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmeade experience. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes. I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. I heard the, <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. Hi, right, well, can you run a little bit faster? Because I'm trying to hit the speed one world record on this game. I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. That's crazy, Great but I don't remember to take asking. It as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Yeah, okay, <laughs> whatever. I'm cold, glad you're giving me all this exposition. Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh? What's so special about them? They are interesting to look at. But if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Okay, that's great. Why are we walking? I thought we had like magic brooms and shit. I could fly. Or that we could tell From the forbidden forest. Hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. He's already seen the hippogriffs. Absolutely. Likely already made. That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. God, thanks for that limits? context. The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, Look at them low rest mountains the in the background. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess, I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. Bruh, this is like half a fucking mile that we're running. Why did we How decide to go on foot? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hey, what's happening, Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth huh? year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. 
What, what the did fuck are you talking about? I mean, guys, Dougley and Arian, mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon, a Debbie guy. <sighs> I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. Not gonna lie, this is there is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Yeah, your dialogue has been noted. But I cannot guarantee a follow-up. And here we are. Now why can we just It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get uh, any The next you cover can is going to be Take On Me by Aha. That was voted on most recently. Visit. However, I can't the, uh, the next time we have a vote up there, another Joji song in there. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon. So that whole mission was just walking and hearing exposition. I feel violated. Okay, shops, points of interest, you try any of these, alright. Well, that's it. I think that's a good stopping point, boys. So I appreciate it what happened on the stream. Yeah, I'm sure we had a couple of pickups and stuff, but, uh, I'm gonna try to stream again soon. Uh, I'm gonna try to find some ways to iron things out, make things a little bit more interesting, but thanks for bearing with me today, boys. Learned a lot, a lot of new contacts and stuff. So we'll, we'll stream again soon.